today I'm at the site, uh, the former site of the, I believe it's pronounced Perrin Air Force Station. This site was used from 1964 to 1969 is what it says on the web, but this, uh, I guess this probably would have been barracks or something. Maybe classrooms for somebody in the Air Force, I'm not sure. This lone structure sets out here abandoned. And it looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time. But uh, it's kind of eerie. It's almost like you're in like uh, Chernobyl or something. Actually, what this place reminds me of, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but uh, I'm gonna show you the water tower over here. It's just a lot of vacant, abandoned parking lots and where structures once were. This kind of reminds me of that movie, uh, The Philadelphia Experiment, if you ever seen that. Where they're traveling back in time on the ship, which is actually supposed to have really happened. It's sort of, kind of interesting to look up anyway. But, uh, yeah, this is just kind of an abandoned uh, Air Force. It doesn't say Air Force Base, it says Air Force Station. And, uh, it's still a base, so... Keep driving around here to see what else we find. I just stumbled across this, thought it was interesting. So here's the back side of that building, and there's another building exactly the same behind it. Looks like here might have been like a mess hall, maybe a chapel, I'm not sure. And then there's one more building over here that resembles the other two. So I'm thinking there might have been a whole complex of buildings, and this is just the three that existed because there's a lot of vacant land here, so it could have been many, many more. Who knows? But uh, definitely interesting. Cool to find these things like this still in existence. So what I read is this was part of the NORAD system back in the uh, the height of the Cold War during the Vietnam War uh, as an early missile defense uh, warning uh, intelligence radar and all stuff like that. That's what they did here. Uh, but definitely, uh, definitely tell it looks very government and uh, from the 60s. See if I can find some clips of what this looked like back in the day. There is a regional airport over there, as you can see. And it did say in 1957, an F3 tornado hit that airport before the uh, before this was this part of it was here. The uh, the air base. So it does make you wonder what this would have looked like back in, uh, when it was operational. I guess it would have been some of those huge radar, uh, rotating radar, uh, big radars, you know, radar in the sky for missiles and stuff somewhere in here. Who knows where? But like I said, I will try to find some pictures. If I can find any online of what this looked like when it was operational. You can see there's the uh, jet and the opening scene and there's the water tower. So I did find this out here. Civil Air Patrol, Texoma Composite Squadron, Texas 262. Air Force Auxiliary. So there's still some action out here so i was watching all you can vegas's channel and he was at a thai place it made me really want some thai food so um we had a thai place let's see what we can find got some thai tea to start and he looks pretty good so uh let's pick out a few things and uh what should we get Okay, it's the first course. It comes with, a, what do you say this was, onion soup? Looks like some uh, mushrooms floating around and stuff, so uh, let's give her a try. So Mr. Shelf thinks I'm crazy because I don't like this uh, these cheap packages of soy sauce. This stuff tastes always disgusting. So I bring my own bottle of Kikaman. Okay, so these were the shrimp cakes. 
a sweet chili sauce, and then uh, Mrs. Chef has got some uh, beef pineapple curry. So we'll try this out first. I got some other stuff coming. So that's a shrimp cake. Let's give it a dip here. It's very hot. Peanuts on top of it. Hmm. Is that peanuts on top of it? Mm-hmm. Taking that shit. Hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next thing up here is garlic beef, and I got some fried rice and a bottle of hand sanitizer to wash my mouth out if it ain't good. This shit wasn't bad. Well, Crazy Ty was delicious. If you're ever in Sherman, check it out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.